Hello, here we are once again with Muki Tenenbaum. As you know, we are dedicating these videos to his philosophy, his disillusionism, and in particular to the nostalgic theory about human behavior as an aversion to suffering. For almost, no, for more than two years now, we've been illustrating these rather abstract concepts with facts of life, with everyday news. We try to analyze from our point of view, the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, the ongoing war in the Ukraine. And today we are going to do something similar to this. We are going to take advantage of all the news coverage, especially in the Northern hemisphere around global warming, around climate change these days. And we are going to try and analyze what's happening from a disillusionist point of view. Uh, well, the, the, the issue really is not climate change. The issue here, the, 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 in fact, the name of this, of, of this video is about guilt, about this, the, the guilty feeling that you, mm -hmm. that you have and, and, and how the, this guilt um, permeates into a discussion that should be 100% practical. Mm. So uh, um, let, let me give you the, the following example. In the Netherlands, uh, in the last uh, six months, have been, there has been a, a, a terrible fight between the government and, uh, and, and many of the parties of the, of, of the government uh, trying to uh, uh, convince at the beginning and now to compel uh, farmers to have their, uh, their their stock of pigs, there is all mm -hmm. kind of all kind of rules, but it's a, it's it's really a terrible hit for farmers. All this paid, yes. I mean, they, they will be they will be paid some uh, some uh, yeah, compensation for for the compensation. They, they, they will be compensated. Yeah. Compensated. Mm -hmm. We are in the Netherlands. We are in Europe. Of course, compensation mm -hmm. goes mm -hmm. without saying. Even when there is no problem, there is a compensation. <laughs> this, this is how Europe <laughs> Europe works. <laughs> People get paid for pigs they never lost. <laughs> <laughs> for example, yes. anyway, so so and the fight has been quite um, vociferous, and now it gets into a situation in which farmers are filling with um, with uh, a, a, a pigs excrement uh, the street of Amsterdam, the 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 all all the all the uh, turnpikes. I mean, it's a disaster. The fight, the tones of the fight has, has become in a country that is known for its mm. civility and, 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 and people are very much alike. It's a very, it's a very homogeneous country with a culture, mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that is a very liberal culture in many ways. So the, the, the fight is about saving the planet by controlling climate change. Right, let, let, let's first talk about what climate change is, uh, how, how the scientists are saying climate change um, works, uh, uh, how, how it is produced. It's produced by what's called the greenhouse gases, CO2 and methane. methane. CO2 is the one that we all know, uh, it comes from the cars and exhaust and of course all the factories, <coughs> the use of coal mm. for producing energy uh, and, and some other, uh, some other uh, or oil. And then you have Methane, which is a gas that, uh, in, in this case, coming mostly from oil fields. Mm. That means this methane, when when you look for oil, the methane comes out, and the methane goes into the atmosphere and contributes six times uh, more than than CO two. Than carbon. Very, not, very 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 dangerous kind of uh, kind of gas. Um, so. Uh, as I said, in the Netherlands, that the idea was to, to, to lower the methane because mostly most farmers, what they, they bring in is methane and methane is like the big, the, the real bad guy, the biggest bad guy. Uh, I hate the word bad guy, but I just have to say it because <laughs> I, hate, I hate saying bad guy. I, it's I a never, gas. It's I not never evil. understood, but, but even, 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 even with these guys, I mean, ch childish, uh, but you know, it permeates into my language at the end. So what we have, is, the, is in the Netherlands, that's the idea. Yes. Now, in the meantime, in Congo, uh, a very, very, very poor Central African country, I'm talking very poor children with a lot of people, children working, I mean, really hunger, mm -hmm. 
a very, really a very bad situation. They have found that in their um, uh, swamps, mm. uh, and, and, and uh, yes, mostly swamps, they have a huge amount of uh, oil waiting. Uh, the, the prospectors have said it's full with oil, so they wanted to give to Shell, to BP, to all the big companies, the possibility to dig uh, and, and look for oil. That, of course, will, because the, the, the size of the field is huge, it will create a huge amount of methane, yes? When I'm saying oil could be gas too, yes? Qatar is mm -hmm. mostly gas and it's, it's, it's methane. So, uh, so they came to the Congo and said, listen, you should not do this. You, we're trying to fight the flight climate change. So the president answered them, this is not one of our priorities now. We have to feed our people, you know, food, food before climate. <laughs> Uh, and we, we're going to do it anyway. And I, I was speaking with a friend of mine. She was like enraged. How do they do that? Now, in India, and, 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 and that will be my, my one before the last example, again, going in, India is uh, the, the population, there's a population explosion. In fact, it is now the, the most populous country in the world. Mm -hmm. they, mm -hmm. need, they need energy to, to, to take care of all these new people. That energy can come from coal, which is traditional in India, but they say build us some atomic uh, reactors or, or some alternative uh, energy uh, um, machines or you know wind, whatever. We don't have the money. Pay you pay you give us the, the billions of dollars that we need to do that. And they, they, the West say no. So India it's making new coal factories to the chagrin of all the West. Why do you do that? <laughs> And finally, the Swiss had a referendum uh, on having a higher tax on their, uh, on, on their uh, I don't remember, I think the oil, I, it, some new tax to save the planet. To, to I think it was change. the petrol, for the car, pet, Pe petrol for the cars, yeah. Petrol for the cars, which is very expensive. Switzerland, is, if, if it's not the most expensive, it's one of the most expensive countries in the world. And they voted against it. Mm. What they ask the people who voted against it, they say, we contribute almost nothing to climate change. Okay, so let, let's, let's see that argument. Now, the Netherlands contributes, the whole Netherlands, with all the pigs and all the cars and all the factories <laughs> and everything and all the gas. Let me remind you that they, they, have, they have gas. Yeah, and Shell and Philips. Everything. It's 0.4% of all the emission of, of, uh, of uh, methane and, uh, and CO2 in the world, 0.4%. Now, India, on the other hand, is 7%. And of course, growing, because they have to be uh -huh. new. Uh, and Congo, nothing yet. Of course, when it's negligible, ne negligible what they contribute, but they're going to contribute a lot, because the methane coming out from there will be a disaster. Now, the, the first question is, why the Dutch are fighting among themselves for 0.4%, which in fact is not 0.4% because ah, it's much it, 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 less than that. It is going to be a fraction, a fraction of mm -hmm. that. The pigs are just a fraction, yes, all the cars mm -hmm. and everything else. So why are they fighting for that and fighting among brothers and really getting angry and leaving scars, I'm talking emotional scars mm -hmm. in this fight, instead of taking that money, that compensation we spoke about, and give it to the Congo, so the Congo will not develop its, its mm. oil fields, not only the Netherlands, Germany, Belgium, or all the European, or the little European countries, the, the Lilliputian countries that you have in, <laughs> in, uh, in Europe, and even the bigger ones, they should just give the money that they're giving today to others to put mm. the solar panels and this stuff, they should give it to where, where it's needed, India, mm. Congo, and Brazil, in fact. Bolsonaro mm. said clearly that he offered the Europeans, if they don't, they don't want him to cut part of the Amazonas down, to pay, and mm. he will give it to them. Of course, they, mm. they, they will stay in Brazil, but they will be not developed. So, Florencio, what, what what's going on? Why are mm. they doing it? And the first thing I want to comment is that it's clear from your introduction and from many other examples we could look into but exceed the purposes of this video, that addressing a global problem of this scale from a local perspective, at tiny scales, it's simply illogical, not just illogical not to say outright crazy. 
you started this video by speaking about a different kind of suffering, I think, that has nothing to do with global warming, with climate change, and what we could do to alleviate it. But a very personal, uh, local suffering, which is guilt, and if I may, I would add shame, that people could be feeling in the Netherlands, in Switzerland. So my question is, what suffering are we actually addressing? Because logically speaking, we are not addressing climate change. We are not fighting global warming. We are not fighting emissions. Maybe it's this other type of very local, very personal sufferings that are being addressed by these policies and these attempts. Well, you know, every illusion needs an illusionist. And those are the governments, yes? They, so this comes, what we're seeing now is the result of a policy of governments, of, of illusionists, trying to uh, use guilt to achieve a foreign, a different mm. result. So mm. <clears throat> during the pandemic, they use guilt so people will wear a mask and, and then stop or, or mm -hmm. maybe lower no, the, the incidence brilliant. of contagion. Mm. But how they do it? One way is the, the mm. hard way. You do it or you go to prison or you do mm -hmm. it or like you, that was used also. Mm. But the best, the most successful way was to say, if you don't do it, you may make somebody else sick and die. You may become an unwilling murderer. Mm. Mm. And, uh, or worse, or even or they would say, or alternatively, if you don't care about other people, you may care about our, our health system. Save the NHS. You remember the British? <laughs> we have to save the NHS. The NHS have to be saved. It's up to us to save the NHS. And mm -hmm. you, everybody of us, have to wear a mask so we save the NHS. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then even they were, they, they, they were saying, you know, mm -hmm. The, the hospitals are 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 uh, are coming into a they're going they're going I would say uh, medically bankrupt. I mean, they, they cannot deal with, uh, with with so much, and people will continue to die, and, and that's because you don't put the mask. Very simple. Were they right about the result? Yes. Mm. Were they right about the mean? No. They were not telling them what they should tell. You, you should do it, in, and period, because this is what you're supposed to do. And I can tell you this, but it was the language was guilt was was, mm. was was made on purpose for you to feel guilt. That mm. thing happened. They, they they've learned from climate change from before the pandemic, mm. which was still used when then. Today it's much harder. Today it's even stronger. So what do you do when you feel guilt? When you have a guilty feeling, or when you are afraid of feeling guilt? Because mm. we're talking about really, uh, mm. you, you are afraid mm. of feeling guilty. What do you do? You first of all have to. Establish your innocence. How do you mm. establish your innocence? You do your job. You do what you have to do. You put here a battle, here I put the other battle. Then you go out and fight the, the farmers, the murderers mm. of our extinction. Mm. They bring our extinction and will not make them do and, and 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 all that is not helping anybody. The solution is very simple. Take the money, uh, give it, give it what it's needed. No, my aim is to exonerate myself. Mm. To be able not to have the little voice mm. in my head, you know, knowing at my head uh, or, or, my, or my neighbor mm. accusing me of not saving the planet. So I do that mm. even though there is no mm. logic of what I'm doing. It has, has no value. It's like voting. Your vote, yeah. you can vote and, and, or not vote. That will be the same result if you recycle or not recycle or if you put your mm. solar panels mm. in the Netherlands. Yes. Uh, <coughs> So much sun. So it, it, it ah. just that to save to save the planet to stop um, global uh, to stop the climate change. And I remind everybody: if you, you I mean, we we have one uh, one uh, <coughs> video about uh, saving the planet, about uh, ah, yeah, the uh, planet our planet. Is an illusion. Saving, yes. The planet is an illusion. So I recommend to see that because it is um, it is related, <clears throat> but it is not this case. <clears throat> so look, if we continue this way, we're working. <clears throat> directly into climate change, all the, all the results of climate change, but nobody will, will be guilty. Ah, no. Mm. They were the Congolese. Ah, those Congolese. <laughs> ah, those Indians. I'll give you a final example. China is, is uh, and, and what I'm talking is, this is published statistics, not what I think. 
Forty mm. percent mm. of all emissions come from China. Mm. Almost every telephone, cellular phone, and every computer, and I'm, I'm just making nah. this, this limit, yes, mm. comes from China. It's very simple. Government should say no more computers, no more, no more phones from China mm. until China, you know, cleans its act. Uh, uh, mm. Nobody's doing it. Mm. Yeah. So they are not trying to solve the problem. They are trying not to feel guilty. And in the case of uh, the illusionists, they want to be re-elected. Yeah. I, it's... <laughs> Climate is still changing, but at least it will not be my fault. That, that's that's the type of policy. You make me remember the, a, a, a recurrent scene in, during my childhood. I was always very skinny. I wouldn't finish my food. I wouldn't clean my plate. And at home, they would say, there are people suffering a famine somewhere in Africa. I think it was southern Nigeria. It was Biafra. There's a famine in Biafra. You should finish your food. Uh, and I would. But of course, I didn't realize that by finishing my food, I was alleviating my shame and my guilty feelings at home. But this had no impact whatsoever on the African famine. <laughs> No relationship there. So in a way, I guess this is the same sort of situation in which the Dutch might be alleviating their own guilt, their own shame by fighting their poor <laughs> neighbors, trying to raise pigs. But of course, this has no impact whatsoever in the global problem. We are already out of time. We went beyond our usual limit. But I wanted to ask you about the relationship between these sufferings, guilt, shame, as they relate to pollution and global warming, and our ability to sleepwalk, our ability to sink. Because what you are describing in the Netherlands is a situation in which the sink and the sleepwalking seem to be very much disturbed by these events. Uh, I will answer your question, but I want to... Somebody told me it is very important what the Dutch do, and, or the Swiss and all the mini, mini states that are in Europe, or even the bigger ones. Uh, it's very important because it's the example. If I yeah, they have example, to set an example. My, I've heard that. I, they have to set yeah. an example. As you know, people in Congo, the ones that are, uh, the, most of the people in Congo, are looking all the time for examples from the Netherlands, how to live their life. This is, this is, out, I mean, you can give an example to somebody who follows you, somebody who, who knows you exist. <laughs> who are they giving example to? So now the Dutch will come to the, to the Congolese, and they did. We did our job, now you do yours. And they say, no. And, and, and what are we trying to do? Saving the planet or being right mm. what, mm. which of the two you want to be you, do you want to be right or you do you want to solve the problem this is not the first you, you, I'm sure people uh, yeah. heard it many times but this is so clear the reason we're using climate change is to, to speak about uh, exactly guilt and shame and the, and the politics maybe the, the, how, how illusionists use this to your question it's very important because since you sleep while you sleepwalk, you don't suffer. Thus, you you also have have a, you, the way to sleepwalk is not to have guilt. You do not to feel guilt or be afraid of guilt. If you are afraid of guilt, you cannot sleepwalk. Mm -hmm. And you know that mm -hmm. by sleepwalking, you avoid not only this suffering, all the other sufferings that may come up or or at least postpone them a lot. So when the government comes to you and tells you do this, 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 and that, you do it. Why you do it? You do it so you won't feel guilty. But that was not the issue. That was not the issue. In your case, with your mother, your, what your mother wanted to achieve, and the practical problem was you not eating. Mm. And she was successful. You can use guilt if, and, and, get, and get the result that you want. Mm. But this is not getting the result. This is just making the solution even much, much harder than it was before. Mm. So the only thing people try to do is not to feel guilty, for instance. I know, I know it's been, it's been we a, are... a, long, a long video. <laughs> and, and, I, and I have spoke briefly, I have to say. 
<laughs> we are not ashamed and we are not, we don't feel guilty about it. <laughs> we'll be okay. Oh, not at all. <laughs> Thank you very see much. You a, 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 see you next time. Bye bye. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, comment, and subscribe.